Alright, let's see how the comet does at getaways. I'm not I'm not expecting much though. I mean, yeah, its brakes are amazing, but as you can see, its ground clearance is anything but oh my god. I mean this thing is fucking horrible at ground clearance games. Like it's really, really bad. And those giant rear wheels are I mean yeah, a car rides lower than the F six twenty, but those rear wheels are humongous targets, and I'm noticing this car is a lot quirkier. This has, you know, some kind of all-wheel drive. Obviously, rear-wheel drive biased, but not a pure rear-wheel drive. If this was pure rear drive, I would probably be a little bit better at driving it. Very, very quick, though. Look at these brakes. I braked extremely late there. If I did that in the S620, I would have missed that corner just flat out. There's no way. Very, this, this really does seem like a point-and-shoot kind of car because it doesn't like back and forth and back and forth like the S620 does. Easier, you know, find a route and then go really fast on it. Or just find an opening and then just zip through it. But, then, but don't try to do anything fancy because it's not going to work. Ooh, it's a quick mother trucker. Wow, I am, I am amazed. This thing is unbelievably fast. This is quicker than the F620. This is absolutely quicker than the L. But then it's got ground clearance issues, among other things. This car's just a rolling ball of issues. Understeer at low speed, yeah, fuck that. Give me the light oversteer of the F620 has any fucking thing. Oh look, I had I had fun with the car and I didn't die. Holy shit. I like the I like this color too. I call this drug wars purple or purple haze. Because it doesn't look like a purple, but then... Oh, look at that luster. Very, very beautiful. I, I like that. We got a little bandit purple. Sexy! 